Hello students, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, we are going to see new syllabus 9th class 2023 to 24 first chapter number system okay cbsc syllabus this one so number system so students you all know mass is all about numbers right mass means numbers so there are different types of numbers are there okay for suppose if anybody gives some chocolates to you how do you count one two three four five and so on right that means you will start counting from one so the counting numbers are called natural numbers okay so what are the counting numbers name natural numbers and if you eat the chocolates completely okay after you ate the chocolates completely how many chocolates do you have zero right so here one new number zero is adding to these counting numbers so if zero is added to the natural numbers or counting numbers then the numbers are called whole numbers okay w h o l e whole that means complete if zero is added to the natural number they are called whole numbers okay so yes first you have some chocolates and you counted them so that counting numbers are called natural numbers after you ate the chocolates completely you have zero chocolates so if zero is added to the counting numbers the numbers are called whole numbers now yeah chocolates are completed and you know you want to eat more chocolates okay so you asked your friend to give some chocolates that means you are borrowing some chocolates from your friend so borrowing means here negative numbers will come right so minus 3 minus 2 minus 1 and these now negative numbers came now to this list so negative numbers 0 and positive numbers that means counting numbers are called integers what is this integers so here natural numbers first letter n so natural numbers are indicated by n whole numbers first letter w so whole numbers are indicated by w so just you may think integers are indicated by i no here special case you have to remember these integers are denoted by the letter z okay so z why we denote with z means actually the full form is zahlen it is a german word which means to count okay so here you have to remember integers or collection of integers or set of integers are denoted by the letter z z came from the german word zahlen which means to count so next you also know about some other type of numbers right i i said in the beginning maths is just about numbers okay so counting numbers natural numbers counting numbers are called natural numbers if zero is added to that counting numbers those are whole numbers if negative numbers are added to the whole numbers those are integers so here till now we have three types of numbers students there is another type of number also there suppose if you share your chocolate with your friend that means if you give half chocolate to your friend then it is one by two right so these are also numbers now so fraction these are fractions right already you have studied in your lower classes so the numbers which are fractions here they have one special name those are that name is rational numbers what is that rational numbers so here we can define rational numbers the numbers which can be written in the form of p by q that means numerator by denominator and here p and q are integers p and q are integers 
and another most important condition q not equals to 0 okay what happens if uh, denominator is uh, 0 1 by 0 means that value is infinite na, or not defined so the denominator should not be equals to 0 okay so what is rational numbers the numbers which can be written in the form of p by q and q not equals to 0 are called rational numbers okay and here one important point you have to remember is all the natural numbers all the natural numbers are whole numbers right and all the whole numbers are integers and all the integers are rational numbers these rational numbers are indicated by the letter q okay so every natural number is a rational number every whole number is a rational number every integer is a rational number so here rational comes from the word ratio ratio is nothing but the comparison of two uh, digits by division only now so p by q here we are telling now so rational numbers rational comes from the word ratio and this q from quotient quotient when you divide here some quotient will be there now so q comes from the word quotient so these are the four type of numbers and there are some other type of numbers also there so the numbers which cannot be written in the form of p by q we cannot write we cannot write the numbers in the form of p by q okay so that numbers are called irrational numbers what are those numbers irrational and it is indicated by q dash okay the numbers which cannot be expressed or written in the form of p by q are called irrational so the numbers such as root 2 root 3 and root 4 value 2 it's a natural number so it is rational number only but the value of root 3 is not a whole number or integer okay it will be 1.7312 and so on it, it continues non terminating decimals so the numbers like this are called irrational numbers okay and here pi is also irrational number because that is 3.14 and it doesn't end non terminating decimals so pi is also irrational number so see now natural numbers counting numbers are called natural numbers so what are counting numbers 1 2 3 4 5 and so on next whole numbers natural numbers including 0 are called whole numbers so 0 1 2 3 4 5 these are all whole numbers next integers negative numbers 0 and positive numbers are called integers and I already told you that comes from the German word Zahlen which means to count. So next rational numbers. A number R is called rational number if it can be written in the form of P by Q where P and Q are integers and here most important Q not equals to 0. So example first all the natural numbers and the numbers which are in the form of fraction and terminating decimals that means there should be end 0 0.5 0 0.3 0 0.472 so like this decimals are also rational numbers okay so rational numbers are denoted by the letter q rational comes from the word ratio and q comes from the word quotient so here all the natural numbers whole numbers integers are rational numbers so here one important point about rational numbers is 1 by 2 is a rational number right if i multiplied this fraction with 2 by 2 to 1s are 2 to 2s are 4 so 2 by 4 is equal to 1 by 2 if i multiply with 3 then it is 3 3 2s are 6 if i multiply with 25 25 1s are 25 25 2s are 50 if i multiplied with 50 it is 50 by 50 to the 100. So all these are equivalent fractions. 
right equivalent fractions and ration numbers also okay so if anybody asked to represent 50 by 100 on the number line so it's it's between 1 and 2 only na? 1 by 2 only now this value okay so here rational number when we represent rational numbers on the number line the most important condition is already we told we know rational number is the numbers which are in the form of p by q right so p and q must be co primes co primes means they have no common factor other than one so that means here two by four these two and four have common factor two okay but one by two only common factor for one and two is one okay Kada two and four rendu koda common factor same unne, one undi two undi. but here only one okay so yila undali simplest formula undali when we represent on the number line okay so idokati manu good pet call epidana bit slot so when you represent rational numbers on the number line then what is the main condition p and q or should be co primes co prime means the numerator and denominator have no common factor other than one so here the most important point you have to keep in mind is there are infinitely many rational numbers between any two given rational numbers first suppose one is one rational number and two is another rational number so how many rational numbers are there between one and two means so many okay so many rational numbers are there between any two rational numbers and next one irrational numbers a number s is called irrational if it cannot be written in the form of p by q where p and q are integers q not equals to 0 so root 2 root 3 root 15 pi and non-terminating non-repeating decimals see here 1 0 double 1 0 triple 1 and so on here it is not terminating that means it is not ending okay and non-repeating also so the decimals which are non-terminating and non-repeating are irrational and here the decimals which are terminating this is rational number and 0 0.51 51 51 51 and so on that means 0 0.51 bar okay this is rational number because it is it's repeating okay repeating and non-terminating is rational number so actually in our old syllabus the real numbers is our first chapter so here simply the name is changed almost same problems are there so collection of rational numbers and irrational numbers are called real numbers okay so what are real numbers collection of rational and irrational or real numbers so first if it is a real number there is rational and irrational numbers in the rational there is integers whole numbers and natural numbers also okay now you have the clear idea what is real number okay what are real numbers so here every real number is represented by a unique point on the number line when we represent on the number line also every point on the number line represent a unique real number okay this statement is given by Dedekind and Cantor they both mathematicians told this one corresponding to every real number there is a point on the real number line and corresponding to every point on the number line there exists a unique real number okay students this is the introduction to number system students please share this with your friends and please like this video and please subscribe to my channel thank you for watching